Hello there, hearing from uh, lots of folks, and I appreciate that while we're spending all this time uh, home alone. And uh, I guess my life's not actually too much different farming chickens and spending my day with uh, five or six hundred chickens and feeding them and collecting eggs and getting those out to people. But uh, hearing from lots of friends like, wow, this is so different spending time home alone. And so wanted to just share this thought of something I've been doing for years for myself and my journey of life, but um, it could expand sort of the number of things there are to do at home. Like when we get done paying attention to each particular item, whatever it is, learning something, doing something, cooking something, whatever, um, there's a whole bunch of other things. Because between every one of those, there's this space. And you could go through everything and just notice the space that's between yourself and the thing that we're occupying ourselves with during this time that we're all home alone. Like I uh, shared in other videos before, but like if you imagine all the stuff that there is and then just let your attention be on the space that's so fundamentally different to spend some of this time that's home alone. Make a practical benefit of responding to nothing because there's nothing to respond to is that our stress response just turns off in the moment that we're paying attention to that nothing. And so that in itself is just a real wonderful um, benefit in this time that's so filled with so much stress Life and death stress really around our planet right now, right? Choosing all those kinds of things. It's all great. It's a deck of cards over there. Think about playing cards with somebody. And then there's the space. And if you just notice that space, since it has nothing in it, stress response turns off. And that in itself is amazing. But if you keep looking in that space, at least for me, it's been one of the great adventures of my life and continues to be. Because after a while, instead of it just being a space between, <clears throat> realize that there's like space everywhere and that the things arise into the space. When you put something in the space and your attention goes to it, the only reason you can't be aware of the nothing and the everything is because you've got something that your attention went to. As soon as I see the space between myself and the thing, then the space between myself and the thing, eventually, just by attending to that space, a sense can arise that if I haven't put my attention on any specific thing. This awareness can arise that never quite gets it, right? The quantum space, the field, the resonance, God space, the force, the source, whatever it all is, the spirit. That in the absence of any particular thing, that awareness could arise for however long we're going to be home alone. <clears throat> um, that that exploration of the space, the nothing, the everything, um, might be might be a worthwhile little way to pass some time. It certainly is for me. Um, and every moment that you're in the awareness of that space, with your stress response turned off. Um, we're in a healthier place. If our stress response is off, we literally are in a more healthy place. Our immune system is stronger. All of those things right now that we want in this time um, for being optimally healthy as this virus makes its way um, around the planet and through each of our communities. 
All right. So uh, anyway, if that's of, of any interest to you, I would love to hear about your exploring of the space, your spending time with the space and um, what that's like for you. Look forward to coming back another day. I'm off to uh, get grain for the chickens today up in uh, Waterville, which is about a little over an hour drive away from here. And looking forward to see uh, the spring nature starting to bloom in our part of Washington. All right. Take care. Good wishes. See you again soon. Bye-bye.